Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and choosing to hang out with me. I am just going to go through my weekly cash envelopes and I did say I was going to do my tracking today but I didn't get to track the last couple of days so for the sake of that I'm just going to do my tracking on Friday on my next video so because I'm a bit behind I just need to remember what I have and haven't spent on the last couple of days. Um, I've been spending most, mo mostly every day to be fair I think I've probably got about two or three no spend days but I need to remember what I did spend on the days that I did spend if that makes sense. Anyway I hope you are well we are going to do my cash envelopes and we are on week two. How's your week been so far? I hope you all had a good weekend. And let's get my We've got to have groceries, miscellaneous and spending. So groceries gets its usual 80 pounds. So that's 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. Miscellaneous gets its normal 20. And spending gets its usual 40 pounds. Right, so miscellaneous does not get touched, as in we don't do any competition. I mean, any competition, <laughs> any challenge for that. Spending, we do the challenge for that one, and so does groceries. Right, right, let's just do that. And I've got 10 pounds remaining. And then we're also going to do the Never Have I Ever. I was watching Kay last night. I was laughing. Oh, my days. Proper laughing. All right. So spring flip we're going to do. And that comes out of my spending. If you haven't already watched her, just go and watch her. She's so funny. <laughs> right. So spring flip. We have got the little ducky. And the ducky is 10 pounds. So we actually almost finished this challenge. I'm tempted to do one more go just to see what I get. Oh, was I cheating on that one? Actually, I'm going to I'm going to finish up this challenge. There we go. We are done. So 15 pounds going in here. I need all the change I can get. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just change that for now. I've got a 20 pound note. But I need to just change up. Okay, so we've got 30 pounds and then we take 15 pounds from our spending. And that leaves us with 25 pounds for spending, which is not bad at all. So this challenge has saved us 20, 30, 40, 45 pounds. And when it's complete, it goes into this challenge. So we're just going to take that out and mark, let's so say, 45 pounds. So we've got 20. And then we got a 15, which is 35, and a 10, which is 45. So this challenge now has got 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. Okay, so we're obviously more than halfway. It saves. 250 once it's complete so we got about 195 pounds left to complete this challenge i will clean this up and we'll do a round two because this is my challenge that i'm going to do for the month of september this is from studio budgets okay so that's spending done right now we're going to do my spinner oopsie let's do that again Oh, that's really nothing though, is it? It's between a five and a 10, so just no. <gasps> 10 pounds, okay, that's fine. 10 pounds going in here. So that means for groceries, we have now got 70 pounds. And in the spinner, once it gets to 50 pounds, it gets emptied out and gets put into this challenge. All right, so we've only got 20 pounds in there, so that's fine. Okay, so that is the binded. Oh, no, we're not done. Oh, well, we are, but we will get the never have I ever. All right, so we got 
but I had a 20 pounds spare and the 10 pounds extra so we've got 30 pounds to play with I don't think we're gonna put the whole 30 pounds in but let's see what we can do with never have so I, if I choose a number so K is just starting from the bottom and then I just choose a random number okay number eight all right, have I ever cried while at work or at school? <laughs> yes, I have. I used to have a boss that used to bully me and I used to cry a lot. And yeah, so yeah, I cried. Next. <laughs> so that's a yes. Number 17. Rode a motorcycle. Yes, I did. So my late uncle used to have a motorcycle, which is my mom's brother. When I was illegal to ride anything, I, hadn't, I wasn't even able to drive, but I rode his motorcycle around the house, that is, not on the road. We kept it, you know, we had a nice big yard. We had about four acres on the, on the yard. So I was able to get a good ride on the, on the motorbike. All right, so just for the record, I cried at school, at work. But nobody really saw me cry. So, yeah, it's one of those where you cry in the toilet or something. So that's two yeses. So five pounds. Oh, that's ten pounds. Let's just try one more. Number 13. Ooh, unlucky for some. Gone streaking. Oh, my days. What, whatever does this mean? I'm going to have to Google these things again. What does streaking mean? Hold on for me, please. Right, I'm back. So <laughs> gone streaking means to run around naked in public. Um, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 oh my days, <laughs> oh my days, <gasps> what a question, what if I had, oh my goodness, right, so that's a no, so that is 12 pounds so far, so number 21, oh gosh, these questions, Driven over a curb <laughs> many times, many, many times. <laughs> when I was learning how to drive, I drove over a curb. And even when I had my license, I drove over a curb. So I think we're going to stop there because that is 17 pounds I will be putting into here. So yeah, that's four of them done. Um, so we will put a 10 and a 5 and I have got some coins. Yep, that's 17 going inside. Gone streaking. Oh my days. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> oh my life. Anyway, right. Quick one. Just to, I'm going to take a quick break just to show you some happy I mail. have paid for my subscription for one was august and obviously september from studio budget so spoiler alert if you have not received this please look away now so this is the august one so august is keep floating um she had to resend it to me because i didn't receive it before so this is a repost they arrived together so keep floating and you obviously allocate the challenge for this i'm going to put this one in my mini binder so it'd be five pounds each probably or two pound fifty and they both came with a little flower and then the September subscription is this one, Autumn Bucket List. And once again, you do the same thing. You choose an, uh, an amount for the icon and you save that. So that is fantastic. So that is my little happy mail. Yes, guys, guess what? I got some more happy mail. I ordered this next one in um, August, obviously. And I said to her, do not post it straight because she's very good at posting. Like literally the next day she will post it. And I said, no, 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 no. Hold on to it for a little while. And so I want to get it in September because of my September um, Etsy ban. <laughs> and then she messaged me. She goes, Julian, I had to let this one go. I held on to it for too long. So it arrived today. Yay. So I'm okay, actually. So it's not too bad considering it's my second week of my Etsy ban. Of course, look at that. Look at these dashboards. From we got this I will put all this um, um, Etsy stores I mean the links in the description below so never give up on a dream because of the time it takes to achieve it oh my days these words nothing is impossible the word itself says I'm possible I love it absolutely love it and of course if you've seen my 
binder walkthrough, you would see that I'm absolutely in love with fairies. My, my kids once asked me, Mum, do you think fairies exist? And I was like, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Because, you know, there's no, no fire without a spark, isn't it? And then there is no force more powerful than a woman determined to rise. Oh, my days. Now, these, these words are enough to keep you wanting to save. I was like, thank you very much. So I got this from, we got this, Sophie. Thank you very much, Sophie. And she threw some freebies in for me. Well, this one I ordered. So the coffee and treats. I was thinking of my little cupcake binder, so I'm going to add this to it. And it's coffee and treats. And each icon, I'm going to make that five pounds, so that because obviously it's a vellum envelope. And I'm going to make this one £10. So in total, it'll save me £60. So I'm looking forward to using that one. Thank you so much. She threw in some freebies for me. Obviously, she's she a little... I love this woman's handwriting, honestly. And she was like, I threw in something for you, for your Etsy band. So Etsy band fund. Should I be saving what's on Etsy band? I think I should, actually, isn't it? I might as well just start saving to keep me motivated. I don't think 45 is going to be enough when I come off my Etsy band, though. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> and then thank you for being amazing. This can go and get added to my coffee challenge or something or go towards my coffee challenge. And then we've got the October freebie, um, spooky October, flip a coin, cross off the coin. Do you know what? As I've just finished flip um, that one from Studio Project, I might just do this one actually. So it's still a flip coin. Yeah, I might just do that one. So we'll do this one as five and 10 yeah so heads is five and tails no heads oh, well whatever heads we make that we make that heads is five pounds and then tails is 10 pounds yeah so we will do this one for our spending money actually so just replace that one so thank you very much please check out her um etsy store she is and she's also got a youtube channel i will link that in the description below absolutely lovely lady she laughs at everything i don't even know if she ever gets upset do you ever get upset sophie she's always laughing always la happy such a happy person honestly please check her out and um right let's carry on all right so as you know i've finished um, most of my challenges in this book in this binder <laughs> Oh, the girl cannot talk, cannot talk. So I've allocated 30 pounds and I'm not going to do the placeholders. I wasn't going to do this challenge again, but I think I'm going to. And I just got these two to finish and it's going into my 2025 challenge, which is my feeder for my emergency fund. So let's just see what we need to finish these challenges. And then I will set up this binder for part two. So we have got five and seven is 12 plus six is 18 pounds. Right, so if I put in, you know what? I'm just gonna round it off to, ten, to 20 pounds because I am not playing with coins. Right, so here we go. All right, so this challenge is from Norelis Budgets. It was her freebie for, I think, five or 600 subscribers, if I'm not mistaken. So this challenge has now saved us 40, 30, 35. Let me just check if that is correct. Uh, it's meant to be 36 pounds, but you know what? For the sake of a pound, what is a pound between friends, guys? Like I've always said, what is a pound between friends? So, £35 it is, and then this money is going to go straight into 2025 challenge. And let's see how much is left to complete this challenge. We have got those extra £5 notes. So I've got £10 here. So we're going to do... Right, so we've got 10 so I need two, three, four pounds more, which I'm just going to round off to a fiver. Right, this challenge should save us 40 pounds if I've done it correctly. So we've got 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Fantastic. 
All right, so let us put this money into this challenge and this will be allocated to my emergency fund. 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. This should save me 250 if I'm correct. I think I've colored in more than I expect to, but let's see. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 30, 40, 50. Right, I've put way too much money in here. I have no idea how. Oh yeah, no, because obviously the challenges were more than 250, so that's fine. So I have got 250 saved, which is correct. And then what I will do is I'll put this towards my emergency fund and then that extra money, which is 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, I will probably put that towards my mini challenges. Maybe in this video, maybe in another video. We'll see how we do for time. Okay. Right, so the next thing I need to do is from this A5 binder, I have put 40 pounds aside, so I might change up that 20, 5, 10, 15, 20. Yep, let's do that. And we still got 40. So what I do want to do is actually start this challenge, which is the collab, which I will put the, um, the screen of all the ladies taking part on the screen of, of all the ladies taking part, as well as in the description, if I remember... I'm going to put £10 in this challenge. And once again, if you are interested in doing this challenge, the freebie, the, the link to the freebie will be in my description. So we're putting £10. And then this one, I said I was going to start and we'll allocate another £10 or more towards it. Right, so this is £11 we're going to put in here with the coins that we need. This was a downloadable. I just downloaded it, laminated it and put my stickers on. I love downloadables because I do not have the patience to wait. Right, so this one, we're going to roll five dice, which is in here. And we're going to put five, that is 15 pounds. Five, 10, 15. Right, there we go. And this is from, oh, cheers, mate. From Glow Budgets, I think. Yeah, it is. She's been very quiet. I've not seen her on YouTube for a while. So this last five pounds, I will put it towards this challenge, actually. So let's knock off the big one. Okay. That is that one done. And then this one, we did remember that we had some money in here. I think we've allocated 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds towards here. So I am going to do this challenge. This challenge is from, she has got it. She has, she gifted me this challenge. It comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, and it saves 40 pounds. So we're just going to just shuffle these cards about, and then we're going to, we're going to pick two cards. And then let's see how much we can actually save. Absolutely brilliant. That's 10 pounds. So that's £10 going in here. They scratch absolutely beautiful. Right, so we will put these ones away because we have scratched them. And then Letters to Juliet. We're going to do this one's also another scratch off. So I've tried to put all my scratch offs together. So we have finished on that one. Let's see how much we can scratch. That's another 10 pounds. 
That's brilliant. I don't really know how much this saves. Apparently you could find out by scratching the last card. But I think I'm gonna hold on to the surprise. And then this one, it saves 85 pounds. Deal or no deal. I don't know how it works, but let's just go for it. Right, it says 10 pounds or whatever that is. So I'll just save the 10 pounds. I don't know what that means. How about that? Because I'm not sure. If anybody else knows, if you've got this game, let me know. But I think I'll just stick with that. And then my little book of savings challenges. I am going to put... Let's tackle the 20 P's, the 15, 50 P's save 12 pounds and the 20 P's save four. That's 16 pounds 80. Right, so 16 pounds 80. So we'll just take it from this spare money, put that 20 back and we'll call it 17 pounds. Right, so this um, challenge I did say who it was from when I did my binder walkthrough budget with Shay and yep yeah, so that's 20p done and 50p done so now we're left with those ones let's see how we get on with this one so I think we got about five pounds left which we will start with this one so at least everything's got something in this in this binder. And this challenge is from that budget chick, Faye. And it saves 135. Okay. That one is done. So the last thing we're going to do is this one. We have got some money allocated to it, but if I do need any extras, I will take it from here. But this is probably going to roll over into my mini binder, which is now 50 pounds, which is fine. But what I might do is I might put, there we go. We've got 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So we've got 40 pounds in here and then 40 pounds for the mini binder. Right, so let's see what we can do with roll and save because I'd love to finish this, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Okay. Three. One, two, three. Ten pounds. See? I don't think I'm going to be able to if I keep landing on these tenors. If it gets to more than 20, we're stopping. One. Okay. That's 12 pounds. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. There we go, exactly 20 pounds, done. This challenge now has got 40 pounds in here. It is from Budget with Sean, I think. And then we have got, let's see, so this one we roll five dice again. It's from Cash Cow Budgets, the same people that did deal or no deal. Right, so we got a six. We got a five, which is 11. We got a four. Do I have a four? Yep. So that's 15. We have a three. That's 18. And we have a one. We don't have a one, do we? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we don't have a one. All right, so we just scratch off the two, which will give us 20. So am I right? 10, 15, 18, 20. Okay, that's fine. So we just put 20 pounds in this one. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, money done. All right, so that is it actually. I will do the mini binder on my next one. Yeah, because the video is going to be too long. So I'll just put this one into my binder which is this one. Oh, I've got money in there. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna put 60 pounds in this one. This is that one. And I think what I'm going to do, now that I've got extra 20 pounds, I'm gonna do bingo. 
Yep, we'll do bingo. So, we got I1. So I1 is six pounds. And we got O5. I kept saying zero for the, the first time round. So zero, oh, I see. O5 is four, so that's 10 pounds. Okay, that's not too bad. And we got O4, which is three, that's 13. O3, oh my days, are you not shuffled? That's 14. If I get another O, forget that. Okay, and plus eight pounds. Oh. Okay, so we've got 13 plus eight is 21 pounds. Actually, that's not too bad. I thought I was gonna do an IOU, am I right? So we got, yeah, 20, 21 pounds going in. Right, so these unused ones go back in the in there, and the used ones go in the card of the used cards. All right, all right. So that is it from me, guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and choosing to hang with me. I honestly really appreciate you, and I shall see you hopefully on Friday for my next cash stuffing video, where we obviously I do put money in my binders. That way I don't forget where the money is going or allocated to, but I, I, seem, I seem to forget that I've actually got money put aside in my binders. So, ooh, nice surprise when I get, when I see it. <laughs> this is in the binders and not in my pocket. But anyway, thank you so much once again for clicking on this video. Really, really appreciate you and I shall catch with you on Friday. Take care. Bye.